Can you, your reflections on last weekend, first of all, a bit of a crazy end to the game, but your thoughts on, on the game itself? Yeah, certainly one for the fans at the end, last 10 minutes. Uh, I listen, I, I said after the game, I thought, you know, there was a lot of areas that we could and should have done better in. Uh, but what I did say to the girls after was that the fact that we've come away with a point, uh, playing probably really well below the standard I think they can play at, I think you have to see some success in that. Um, I wanted more, I was disappointed and frustrated. But again, I said that these things happen and you know we can't change it now. We can just learn from those things, which we have done. We've done uh, some work on that and just hoping to push on. I always say, you know, every week's a new week to reset, regardless of the result. I thought some of the determination in the girls when things weren't going so well was really impressive. Um, but we know we need to be better if we want to achieve the the success that we feel we can do over the longer term. But listen, no issues with me. You know, I, I think it would be naive in thinking everything's going to be great every single minute of every game we play. We just have to continue processing things. We have to continue following what we have done in training and preparing um, equally as hard for every single game, regardless of the opponent um, or regardless of the fixture. And um, and we continue to do that. Do it this week. Do it the week after, and we go on and go on. Are there any specifics arising from that game that you've, you've looked at this week? Yeah, we've we've talked uh, about a few things. Um, don't really want to go into those, but uh, I think we all recognise that you know things could have been better in certain areas, but we did focus on positives as well, and there were. Um, maybe some unseen ones that, that we know about based on what we're working on and uh, I think listen uh, a few things go our way in that game uh, and it, it creates different momentum and it could be a different scoreline uh, you know we had a few chances where if we were a bit more clinical it can be different the same as with Leeds so it, it, there's a lot of uh, good things even if it was massively frustrating but I think that's a good sign for us that we're disappointed with that uh, even though we got something out of it I think that's a really positive sign Back in the Cup again this weekend I imagine it's quite difficult to prepare for, for the opposition at least in this Cup competition Well yeah but I mean listen we, we don't take anybody lightly It's we're expecting a competitive fixture Cup games are a completely different dynamic um, we'll probably see a few changes in the team um, for different reasons and it's a good opportunity for people who are involved to uh, to get something positive from it uh, I'm expecting um, a really good performance from the girls and I always believe if we get that the result will take care of itself How does it work if you could explain to people in terms of the relationship with the with the development group and the players that are playing in that and, and, and how that relates to the first team and, and becoming involved Yeah I mean, when I came in, I made it really clear that it's important that we don't focus on 11 players. Um, I know some clubs do, but that's not what we're about. Uh, I did come in and inherit quite a big squad, even though there was quite a few injured. So that didn't necessarily impact in the short term. But now we've got players back, fit, who have been out for a period of time and who are itching to stake their claim. Um, some girls have been given the opportunity and have had that chance to do that um, and some are striving and fighting for that I think what we have to understand is that you know the resources that we have are limited so we have to maximise that as much as we can it is a very tough challenge and a tough balance as any manager will tell you whether they're full time or part time um, and it, it is a challenge but it's a good challenge for us all we all know what we're signed up to and listen, I'm here to win games and, and you know, first and foremost, anybody that starts any game is starting because I believe we can get a result from it. So that's first and foremost. It's not about um, putting people in because it's nice to do that. If people aren't in, it's because they haven't staked their claim. They haven't done enough in training. They haven't they haven't shown that they they can get ahead of people. And this is the standard that we're setting. This is the the culture that we're setting. We want it to be in a really supportive environment, of course. But listen, this is you know real world football. Um, results do matter, and of course, how we get those results matters as well. 
but it's important that throughout a season to be successful you're going to need more than 11 players um, so we have to ensure that a lot of the work that people don't see is about supporting everybody especially those who aren't starting games because when they're called upon they need to be ready they need to be ready physically they need to be ready psychologically um, of course they need to know what's required in terms of the tactical aspects and that's stuff that I'm doing obviously you've seen with certain bits of technology that we have to facilitate the, the fact that we can't get them every every day in, in person to go through individually exactly what we want from each person um, you know and, and like I said everybody's going through that we're just trying to find innovative ways to to get as much into the girls as possible um, so that when they're called upon as and when for how long that is that they're ready to do that um, and then we want them we're relying on them to come to the table as well you know I always say they have to meet us halfway um, and generally you find out a lot about characters when things aren't going so great for them and you know whilst we want to be supportive of that we do have to set that challenging environment how have you found it only being able to, to work with them a, a couple of evenings a week uh, in, in, in uh, games how has that been for you as a challenge you know it is a challenge um, because purely and simply I want so much more um, there's a lot that I want to try and do with this group and I probably set the bar too high but I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing that's just my character you know being an ex-professional player the national player uh, I've got that competitive streak in me as, as most will do um, and I always want better and want more and will never be happy with that and I've already expressed that to the girls that that's a bit unfortunate for them but I honestly believe that by having that mentality and that attitude it's going to take them to new levels uh, I'm not one for just sitting by and just letting things happen and, and letting the world pass us by that's not how we that, I don't understand why we would be doing that because the question is what we're here for we're here to win, we're here to push forward, we're here to compete um, and progress. Um, so I've had to find ways to do that. I've had to find ways, innovative ways, as I've said, to help the girls. It's a lot of time and effort on everybody's part. The staff have been amazing. Uh, again, they're on some heroes, really, in terms of their commitment to the cause. Um, and a lot of people don't see what goes on behind the scenes so without that infrastructure and that, that supportive network both players and staff um, you know it would, it would be a struggle but at the moment we're, we're coping we're doing as much as we can we'll always want to improve and that's just a continuous cycle of review and reflect and, and act upon just jumping back to the club obviously the, the club reached the final of this competition last year mm. how, how much will the cup success do in you know, progression in this and hopefully matching that this season winning games mm. winning games um, you know the cup games always have that little special extra uh, part in a season um, anything can happen in a, in a home game uh, and that's exciting for everybody involved yeah, no pressure. You know, we got to the final last year, and, and we'll want to go one better than that. The tough teams still in, so there's no guarantees. But it's certainly, uh, you know, certainly something that we're really motivated for. Um, it's always nice to be picking up a trophy, uh, regardless of which competition it is, uh, because it shows that there's something that's been worked towards and an achievement that's been made and been the best at that. Um, so I'm excited for it. Um, we'll be mega prepared for what I would class a standard cup environment and atmosphere. Uh, we're expecting it uh, not to be easy. And at the end of the day, it's, a, it's 11 v 11. You know when the whistle goes so it's who wants it more who's prepared to then have that extra bit of quality in those key moments and i think we've got the players that can do that